Well, this man, Anthony Kestelut, was charged today in connection with the death of a 23-year-old Westland woman. The remains of 23-year-old Olivia Rossi were found half submerged in a stream Friday afternoon in Hines Park. As our Priya Mann shows us, while there are a list of charges in the case coming, prosecutors stopped short of a murder charge. Westland police say Anthony Kestelou choked Olivia Rossi to death in his home and then dumped her body here in Hines Park. Today he was charged with multiple crimes, but not murder, and her family is outraged. Just in total shock, you know, considering that he already told them that he did this. Police say last Sunday, Anthony Kestelut messaged Olivia Rossi on Facebook asking to hang out. Within hours, she was dead. Police say after they smoked crack and slept together, Kestelut killed her in his bedroom. Kestelut drove to nearby Heinz Park and disposed of the hamper, the linens, and the body of Olivia Rossi into the Rouge River. Three days after she was last seen, her family filed a missing persons report, and investigators focused on Kestelou, who had picked up Rossi from her home. In less than 28 hours, arrested Kestelou, obtained a confession, and recovered the deceased body of Rossi. On Monday, the 25-year-old appeared before a judge charged with mutilating and moving a dead body, but not with her murder. He told them that he strangled her, you know, that he, he from the very get-go, and showed where her body was. And so I just, gone. and now he's not getting charged with anything. He's getting charged with moving a body to Heinz Park. Westland police say the investigation is far from over. Kestelut intentionally lied multiple times to the family and to the police in an effort to cover up and conceal the evidence of his crime. During Kestelut's arraignment, the judge predicted there would be more serious charges. I'm never gonna see her again, but he, he deserves he deserves to go to jail for the rest of his life. It's just, it's unbelievable that something, one choice that you make in life could lead to death. And she went on to say that she just wishes she hadn't let her twin sister go out that night. As for the defendant, the judge ordered a $100,000 bond, no 10%. Reporting live, I'm Priya Mann, Local 4. Well, Priya, we heard uh, the, the sister's take, I think, on what happened there. But do we have an official cause of death now on Rossi? So we know that the autopsy has been completed, but we're still waiting on the results from the medical examiner's mm. office. Once police get that, there could be some developments in this story. And of course, we will be there for that. Send yeah. it back to you. All right, Priya.